right, so I've just finished editing this and I've realised I haven't actually got an intro. So I've decided to become more active on my YouTube channel, so I decided to give a vlog a go today. Um, obviously, it is my first vlog, so it's not anywhere near perfect or hopefully it's alright. Any tips would be really greatly appreciated down below or any content you'd like to see. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel, maybe give it a subscribe if you like the content. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the video. Looking lovely today. Mm. <laughs> That wasn't even that bad. It's so beautiful. I haven't even done the bottom yet. <laughs> We're going to get the horses in. And then, do I'll probably try and run away. She probably will. But that's fine, she's not being ridden today. Yeah, but, no. today also, we're jumping. Yeah, we're jumping. The weather is beautiful for the first time in forever. In like, I haven't jumped in five weeks bigger than 65 centimeters. Then last time I jumped, I fell off. Oh, that yeah. was only about yeah. So I'm really looking forward to today. <laughs> I'm jumping Ted, so we'll see how that goes. <coughs> and Dora is I'm not dying. Dora's not being ridden because she's back on Reggie Mike. She's been... Oh I probably can't say that. <laughs> see, Alice's pony loves us. You love us, Ted Kins. Oh Dora. Owie! <laughs> For Conquer. Who came to me when I called? Tom likes to make me feel guilty about the fact that I don't know him anymore. Even though it would have been our three year anniversary. Conky, come on! He thought. Come on! Good boy! Come here! No, go away, Pennies. I don't want Conky to come here. Oh, sweet. Conky! These are gorgeous boysies. Nobody seems to like you. Oh. Why are you so muddy? Hello, gorgeous. Is your bit slippy? Are you a bit slippy? <gasps> this pony is coming in today. My favourite. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> I feel so bad, Gorga. We're going to do some jumpy bumpers today. We're going to do some jumpy bumpers. How's Alice doing? Yes, she's got her too. Yeah. It is. <laughs> no, no, you can't eat my phone, it's my phone. <laughs> Ow, stop. I'm trying to cut me off. Oh, I do love you. He doesn't really like leaving the others. Um, he's kind of got over it when we ride now. Um, he used to be really, really nappy, um, especially in scary situations, which is, you know, fair enough. And now he's just... Sometimes a bit slow to take him from the field, even though he's got his two besties up ahead of us. But yeah, I saw him on Tuesday and we had a little ride and we did flat work. I can't remember, oh yeah, we were trying to get improve his self-carriage and build up some of his chest muscles. So it was all useful flat work but quite boring and Alice nearly died. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't know what that was about, I think I probably had a little argument. Um, that cute face. Also, he hates, he really, really hates having his face brushed, having any of him brushed, and so he still loves to get himself covered in mud just for me to clean off and do exactly what he hates. I'm gonna try to eat. What are you trying to eat? <laughs> Come on, here we go. So, here he is, looking lovely and absolutely filthy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mud line. 
So we're gonna go put the jumps out and then come and do a, a grim and get going. Operation Clean the Mud Monster Wonks. Clean the Mud Monster. riding bit of today. Apologies for my voice because I am quite ill at the moment. So I like to warm up long and low. There are different opinions about it because some people say if they don't stretch properly then they are basically slouching. I think it's really useful for him because it helps him relax and he also quite enjoys it. He likes stretching out through his back and his neck at the beginning of a session and I think the fact that I do it every single time I ride him helps him realise it's me riding and what I expect of him during the rest of the ride. So here are just some clips of sort of the best version of Long and Low that I'm trying to achieve. Obviously, he's not still quite there through the transitions, but just... Um, and then here, we had a little hop, and he seems to be doing this quite a lot at the moment, um, especially on the right trot to canter, but we had the physio out, and they said that it is just... Um, him being green and not quite sure how to move his body and stuff. So that was a very nice transition for him. We've been working a lot recently on connection, which is where the bucking or the hopping started because he couldn't hold himself and do it. And he's getting slowly better at it. He's realising he can do it. Here I'm asking for a bit um, of slight extension just to get him working forward a bit more. Um, so we've been working really lots on his self-carriage and holding himself properly. And he's getting better, so that's nice. I had slight issues with brakes today. That was the only thing that I'd say I had issues with on the flat mainly. And he's just doing a bit in canter. Um, see here, I'm trying to pull up and I can't. So what I did is I pulled a turn to the right and I put him on a small circle and I said, um, no, we're not just tanking off. We're actually going to do what I say. Because he does like to tank off sometimes. I think he was a bit fresh today. And then I did another sharp turn to the left. Then he kind of listened to me a bit more. It was when the canter was introduced, he got a bit het up. So this is the first time jumping. Well, actually I jumped the cross pole before this. This is the straight. And then I also set up a barrel with V-poles today. And this is just me showing it to him. When I show it to him, I turn, I try and turn straight and head straight away from it. Or just basically not to the side because then he can run out. Because he does have a tendency to run out. And I was really pleased with him. That was his first time at it. That time he kind of panicked. And that was when we ended up leaving it on because we spent quite a lot of time on the triple bar. That was it as a spread. This was uh, the first time it was up as a triple. Um, he took off a bit of a long spot on that one as well, as you can see. So he had to quite stretch over it. Put it up a little bit. Well done! So I was really proud of him because we haven't jumped this high ever, really. I think it's joint highest we've jumped and he just clears it by so much. And he really just locked onto it and went for it. So I was really proud of him today. <laughs> as well and he felt so confident into it <laughs> literally like 
normally I don't know till about two strides out if he's actually gonna jump it and he was just like looking on and he used to like look on and then duck out so I was a bit worried that he would lock on and then he'd suddenly panic at the last minute because then we can have some nasty like run outs and then nasty falls and stuff and he literally like he didn't even wave he was just like oh yeah don't worry I've got this it's just like so pretty and we didn't have it single run out or a single pop today but he he's quite but well, he was quite green he's still quite green but um we basically had to kind of teach him to jump and because he's using the lessons a lot as well because he's a riding school horse in the lessons he um he kind of picked up the habit of running out and then i had a large issue with running out because as soon as he thought something was slightly scary he'd be like oh no i'm out um and he seems to have finally got over that, touch wood. He's such a good boy.